So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. Down here in Lancaster County, in the town of Marietta. And we're gonna do another flashlight review. Got another flashlight from through night. So I was looking for a place, you know, I want, I want a place that's kind of dark, kind of creepy maybe to do this flashlight review. So came to a place where I know there is a little bit of an underground area we can explore, possibly another one. Let me show you where we are. So I'm here in Marietta on the Northwest River Trail. You notice you have the Musulman Vesta Iron Furnace Center. I filmed here before. You can see some of the remains of the ruins that are here. Of course, I parked back down that way. Back down that way is Chickie's Rock County Park. There's quite a few ruins here. So I have filmed here before years ago, just kind of like an initial video. And one of these days I'll do a more official video because I'm doing that you know, Pennsylvania Iron Furnaces series. I'll do this one someday in that series. But today is not going to be like a, an official overview of the site, I guess you could say. We're just looking for a place to test this flashlight out. Speaking of flashlights, here it is. It's just a little one. It's the Through Night T1S. Just a little guy. I was playing with it a little bit last night. It does pack a powerful punch for a smaller flashlight. It's like, so we're gonna find a place here to test this out. Like I said, I know of one underground area. I was in it before. I'm not sure if it's still open or not. Sometimes they close these things off. Maybe you can see all kinds of ruins here, steps and stuff. And there's another dude that explores this area too. I've mentioned it before, Topo Ranger. He has a YouTube channel. He also has an Instagram account. But I saw he was here recently. It looked like he had found another opening into the underground here. So I'm gonna kind of keep my eyes open for that. You see the one hole here. It looks like they've kind of closed it off a little bit. Yeah, right there it is. This is the way it was last time. We just kind of moved some of these piece of wood out of the way went down in. We'll probably do that again into the underworld. It just kind of goes up that way a little bit. But let's look around. I'm going to look around and see if we can find another opening around here somewhere. Yeah, they have all kinds of little information boards here. Like I said, we'll save that for another video when we do our, when we add it to like our official Pennsylvania Iron Furnace series. So as you can see, there's a lot here. Just looking for that subterranean entrance. Oh, you know what? I think I found it up here. I wonder if that's it. Looks a little bit less than what I was hoping, maybe. But let's see if we can get a, down a little bit closer here. So I have not looked in here yet. Let's look, let's see what's in here together. Oh, yeah, I hit my microphone up there. Put that light on the T1S here. It has different settings. Oh, it's a lower setting. I'll crawl a little bit further. Kind of hard to see you back there. Seem pretty low. My head's crouching down pretty low here. All right, wiggled my way even further. Now I can actually see. Oh yeah, it just ends kind of back there. Cool. You could crawl back in there if you wanted to, but I think we'll pass on that. So this little guy packs a little bit of a punch. Cool. All right. All right, so pretty cool, but a tight squeeze. And yeah, I didn't go in all the way. I don't really see a need to. But let's go back to that other one. That one is a little bit more substantial. All right, so yes, time to descend down into this one. I have been down to this one before, but it's, it's a lot bigger down there. It's pretty cool, actually, so let's head down there. All right, goodbye, world. Away we go. 
down into the darkness. All right, so we've made it down in here now. Let's turn it around into the darkness. Let's turn on this little flashlight, the T1S. If I could find the power button. <laughs> Where are you? There you are, all of that, look at that. Let there be light. So this little guy packs a bit of a punch. All right. Yeah, it's a lot roomier down in here than it looks. Let me get myself situated here. Go around the corner here. You can almost stand up in here. There's their possible exit up there. All right, pretty cool brickwork in here. All right. Let's go ahead and make our way up here a little bit. If you could. Ouch. Doesn't mind my head. Yeah. Looks like it does go that way, too. I'll try and peek around the corner a little bit here, maybe. There's a lot of coal dust in here. It's a little more, I was here years ago. I feel like someone dug this out a little bit more. So. Let me see if I can get around the corner a little bit. Just for a peek. All right, so I did get around the corner for a peek. It looks like it's all filled in, or collapsed back in here. So, that answers that question. All right. All right, but here's looking back the way we came. Time to make our way out of here. It's been fun, but let's scooch out. All right. <laughs> Feels like the earth is giving birth to me. All right. We've made it out. All right, yes, we are out. And yes, I've thrown all the those logs back on top of again, just like they were. All right, pretty cool. Love going underground. Yeah, so this little dude packs a punch. I mean, look how small that is. But he lights up the whole underground down there. Pretty awesome. And it is a, uh, it's magnetic too. The bo bottom is there. So if you wanted like, depending on what you're doing, you just hook it on a piece of metal, it'll stay there. And it is a, uh, it's USB rechargeable too, so pretty cool. Yeah, for the size, for the size it is, it's great. You know, if you, for little explorers like that, so you don't have to take a bigger flashlight along. Uh, pretty cool. All right. Yeah, I was hoping that first tunnel would be a little bit more substantial, but it's still all right. We got to go back into that one. Love going underground. Oh, and I do know what that other, that other side and that side passage looks like. Last time I was here. I didn't look down into that other one. I wonder if it went on, but it doesn't. Looks like it's collapsed back there. So that answers that question. So of course there'll be a link to the Through Night website down below if you want to check this little guy out. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon too. Yeah. Awesome little flashlight. Just fits really easy in your pocket or your glove box in your car or whatever. And as always, thanks for coming along. Like I said, if you're interested, you can check them out online or on Amazon. All their all their flashlights are pretty awesome. They still be quite a few and they're all I mean, if you're gonna get a flashlight, don't go cheap. Not that these are super expensive, but I've gotten like the cheaper $10 versions before because I thought I was saving money. The cheaper ones don't compare. You could get one like five times as big as this from some other brands. It would be nowhere as bright as just this one right is. All right, but like I said, thanks for coming along and uh, I'll see you on the next one.